Hi, I'm Lynn Lamborn, interior designer, interior stylist and upcycler. And there's nothing I love more than transforming old bits of furniture, mirrors and picture frames. And at the moment, I am absolutely loving using Salt Wash. Salt Wash is a product which comes in a powder form and you can add it to any paint you like. So it could be old bits of paint that you've got lying around in your workshop or things that you finished, you know, haven't finished from other projects or any paint that you buy in the shop. It gives, I would describe it as kind of a coastal effect, a really weathered look, something that appears to have been on the seaside for a while, and it's a real look of now. I think we've all gone past that shabby chic look, and we're looking for things now where it's a little bit more distressed, got a little bit more sort of funky attitude to them, and I love the way that this turns out. And every time, the results are amazing. So I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial now on how to use salt wash, so that you can go and transform something that you've got and make it look amazing with ease. So today I'm going to transform this wooden crate using salt wash. I'm going to use chalk paint to um, transform my, my crate, but you can use any paint, emulsion, any bits and pieces that you've got lying around, use them up with the salt wash. Now with chalk paint it's roughly 12 ounces of salt wash to 16 ounces of chalk paint, but um, it's just to make the consistency like a cake mix really. Um, and the measurements are all available on the website if you've got any questions at all. So what you need to do is pour it into the, your handy measuring cup here. And the next stage is to add your salt wash powder. It comes with a handy little scoop. So just pop it in to your paint. The next stage is to mix your powder into the paint with your handy mixer. Now the beauty of salt wash is it doesn't change the colour of the paint at all, so you don't need to worry that by adding the white powder that you're going to suddenly dilute the colour that you've picked. That doesn't happen, it mixes all in and it's exactly the same colour that you started with. So as soon as it's thick enough not to fall off the stick, that's exactly the consistency that you want. And you simply add it with a kind of an effect like this to your piece. So making sure that you get lots of texture, lots of peaks to it. Once the salt wash has started to dry, the next thing you're going to do is just take the layer of those peaks down slightly. So knock them back just by using smooth strokes with your paintbrush. Just smooth over the peaks and flatten them ever so slightly. So once your paint has dried, you've knocked it back and it's dried, it's really textured, looks a little bit messy, don't worry. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go over it with your top coat. Now that can be any colour that you like. Play around, pick some colours that work for you. I'm going to go with white today. I'm going to give it a coat of white completely over the top, covering everything. So now the crate is completely dry and I've actually painted inside as well just to give it that flow of colour. Um, so it's time to sand it. You can use sandpaper, hand sandpaper, that's fine. For ease and for speed I use my electric sander and it just gives a really nice finish. So here is a table that I salt washed earlier as well and it gives you an idea. I've sanded this and you can see the detailing that comes through once you start sanding that top layer off, revealing the, the salt wash colour that's underneath. So whatever you've mixed your salt wash into comes through from underneath. And then you can sand around the edges of the table and really add that distressed feeling. 